Hello, everybody. Glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this channel. Uh, I framed this video for this and upon standing here, I realized how ridiculous this is going to be. So what I might have to do is take my beautiful decorations off the side of this table. Apologies, it's got to be done, but I will explain what we're doing today. This is, you can't see it at the moment, but I promise you we'll get a bit of a shot of it soon. This is a green on green variegated large form Monstera. And I love this thing. I've taken a cutting of this. It's had its head lopped off. You'll notice that in a bit. And I've taken a cutting to my house and I'm just waiting for it to do something. My cats have eaten half of it. I'm very upset about it. But today, today's the day I've been putting this off. Okay. I really want to propagate this. And it, I can only tell you how long it's been in one of the trays. It's a tray that I don't like to pick up. Up. I don't like to move it. I don't like to do anything because it is impossible. But if I just show you what we're dealing with, sorry, I know this is insane. I just want to show you what we're dealing with. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. So I don't know what I'm going to do about this. This is this is not going to be a fun one, if I'm honest. This is going to be kind of chaotic. And I kind of wish I hadn't done this, but it needs done. It needs done. So I'm actually just going to take the decor off as nice as it is. I'm going to need the space. I'm really going to need the space. Let me just pop the mint down there because we don't want to hurt anything, you know? Don't want any accidents. Sorry. Moving my lovely products, which by the way, are available on Amazon and nurturesystem.co.uk. Again, merch available online as well. Right. I need gloves because this, I'm going to stink after this. Let me tell you two seconds. So my beautiful green on green, this was bought by the way from, was it like swapped with like a collector or something? I can't remember how I got this, but it was from literally a random person. So the whole aim, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but the whole aim is to cut this up. Now, I'm probably not going to pot it up on camera because it's going to be a nightmare. And to be honest, unless I'm potting something up in a nice L-hole pot, it's very noisy. It's just very annoying. So I'm going to pot this up separately. I'm probably going to have to trim a lot of these aerials, which is going to annoy me because they're fabulous. Um, this plant is a bit smelly, but I don't think it's total rot because I'm pinching a lot of these roots that are very dark and they, they're rock solid. So I think a lot of it's actually algae. I've said this before. There's a lot of green on these roots. Hopefully you can say, oh, 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 oh. So first thing I'm going to do is lie them down. But I don't know if you can notice now if I'm where I'm tapping. Can you where I'm tapping here? This has already had its head lopped off and I have the head at home. So I'm going to have to lie them down because there's not going to be any good way of doing this today. And I don't even know how well you're going to be able to see it. You know, I think I'll have to take these products off the table. As pretty as they are. There really isn't a good way of doing this. I'm going to try and get them out of the pot first. Wow, that's really loud. Noise cancelling should have my back. All I want to do right now is pull him, but... Oh, no, I can't pull him, though, can I? I can't. I'm going to have to cut him. I didn't want to cut him, but it's just occurred to me. How can I pull him out when all of that's grown out the bottom? So I guess first thing we're going to do, guys is surgically cut through the pot. And this is a pot I can cut through. Don't we just love that? So I'm going to cut through it very gently because I can't see what roots are pressed up against this. And that's always the, the scary part. But I hope you can see sort of what I'm doing. It is very, very, very difficult to frame this because I'm barely in it. It's a big plant. It's normally why I do stuff like this off camera because it's just so cumbersome and you can never get a good view. But here we are anyway. Right, gently go all the way down and cut through some holes, I think. I think there is a little bit of rot at the very bottom and there's probably a little bit of rot throughout, but I think in general, sorry, my hair's all over my mic. I think in general, we're safe, if you know what I mean. Um, oh gosh, don't know how to cut this, you know. This is really difficult because I need to, mmm, mmm, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I feel like I'm going to have to cut. Can I rotate this safely? Oh my lord. If we get some snappage here, I think it just has to be accepted at this point. To get to this, I think I need to cut down this way as well. Because I'm not going to be able to cut from the bottom. It's hard to explain without you seeing it. I appreciate it. But I'm not really able to do this. I just want this pot as far away from this plant as possible. And let's just hope I've got pots big enough to do props on these. Because I know a couple of people are wanting this plant, actually. I've had a few people speak to me about it, and it's probably about time I sorted it out. But this is why I haven't sorted it out, because it's so cumbersome. It's a shame, but I would, I, it's such a good plant, guys, and it's not easy to get. Not saying it's super rare. Uh, you get my point? It's not easy to get. So I want to get going with it, really. And today is that day, guys. Today is that day. I'm pushing myself to do it, so. Oh, gosh. Right, that's a section of plant pot completely cut away. It's very nice. I'll show you a little cross section. Can you see this? There you go. That's cross section. I'm just trying to make sure that this root here is kind of saved. We don't lose it. Ooh, don't like this. 
So I want to cut from that into the other hole. Can I do that? Yes, I can. Right. So now I cut through this one like that. That little root there can slide out of here. Yes, yes. And can I not just sort of whip it away now? Maybe. Oh God. There is definitely a smell. I, I won't lie to you guys. This is mainly in moss, by the way. Probably hasn't helped. Really probably hasn't helped. Don't recommend. Right. Oh, excellent. So that's the pot I've had to cut away. It was really hard to sort of cut through the holes because it's got these steps here on the base of the pot. Hopefully you can see. So it's actually really difficult to cut through the holes. So I've just had to cut down the sides. Right. This stinks. This t-shirt's going to stink. There's definitely rot involved. Don't get me wrong. There's a nice chunk of rot. That's nice. Just, oh, yeah. Rot slap. So the thing we need to kind of do, guys, is get all of this moss off. All of it. The, as much as we can possibly get off. Now, hopefully, what I am hoping is that this is mainly root. It's mainly root. Because it's only had so much moss in. It was much smaller cutting, as you can imagine. No one just gave me a plant this size. It's been here for a long time. I can't even remember when I hauled this plant. It's got to be a minimum of two years ago. It's, it's a long time ago. Uh, maybe it was one year ago. I don't know. But I know I got it probably as one leaf. Maybe a bit more. Maybe a couple of leaves, but three maximum. Could have just been a one leaf uh, node. And I, I don't know if I bought it or swapped. Because I think Ben arranged it. Whatever it was, it wasn't done through me. It was done through Ben. So I don't actually know how it occurred. That's why I'm saying I can't remember because it wasn't really me. You know, I would love to sit down, you know. Hang on. It's just not, it's not a vibe, this, is it? I've got moss on my shoe. Let me just sit down, guys, because I think I'm going to be framed a bit better when I sit down anyway. Let me just wipe the crap off. Is this any better? Hang on. Lovely. Better? Oh, yeah. 100%. Ew. There's some more rot. So there is, there is a bit of rot. I'm not saying there's no rot. It's just, it's not as much as you'd expect. There's only certain portions of it that are a bit shit. But I plan to put on, off camera of course, my nurture system number three. Now, unofficially, because again, it's not, it's out, but I haven't done the launch. Unofficially, nurture system number three, which is rapid recovery, is very good for rehabbing plants after shipping. It's good at getting them going again after things like root rot, so a situation like this. It still does a lot of the things that number one does, like good with just generally repotting and stress and stuff like that. It's kind of like, it's kind of like number three, the, the, the parts it does is kind of like what number one does in terms of transplant shock and good roots on steroids a little bit. Does that make sense? It's just really good. I would use it as like a rehab tonic, right? So that's what I'm going to use it for. And we should get some really good root growth. Now, I don't know how much of this root we're actually going to lose. Oh, it's got the old tag in. Green var. Love it. Um, I really don't know. But I'm hoping that this is actually manageable in terms of propping because I don't even know. I've got some big square containers, but they're not, they're probably not big enough for all this root. So I don't know. It's, I don't know what I'm going to do. I used to have more pots like the one I've had to cut, but I don't anymore. So I'll have to search the shop. It's another reason why I'm going to do it off camera as well. I'll have to search the shop for a method to the madness, basically. Oh my God, guys, this is just, oh, it's juicy. Oh, there's a little bit of perlite in the middle. So at one point, <laughs> At one point, it was it was helping. I wouldn't recommend moss and perlite just because because this this clearly isn't our substrate. Is what I'm getting at. We've obviously just got it and doshed it straight in. I wouldn't really recommend personally moss and perlite because I just feel like it's two extremes. Moss can hold is it three or four times its weight in water, so that's ridiculous. And then you got perlite that yeah, all right, super dry. I think if you're gonna do moss and perlite, it better be a really good mix of like fifty fifty. If you know if like that's all you've got in the house or something, you need to do it. Otherwise, I. I probably wouldn't go for it. I'd go for something else. Ooh, is there a couple of roots in that? Yeah, but we're all right. We're going to lose something here and there. You know what? You'd think that there'd be rot at the bottom, right? You can't see it at the moment. Probably, maybe not. But it's, there's loads of white root. Loads of it. I'm just genuinely trying to gently pull away all this moss because this moss is sopping wet. Now, I do think this plant might tank a little bit when it's being cut and when it's being repotted because this is a major change for this plant. Major, major change. But I'm okay with it. Because I know I won't probably completely rot anything. I'm not going to put it in more moss. It's not going back in moss after this. It's This is the end of its life in moss. I think we'll get a little bit of shit, but I don't think we're going to get any losses. I don't think. I'm probably going to cut it up, just talking while I'm planning, into single leaf nodes, really. That's how else can you propagate something? See, I've got some, some root coming off, but believe me when I say it's so, so intertwined and some of the roots are so... 
small and gentle, I'm, I'm struggling a bit. But again, because I'm going to struggle fitting the roots in these pots, I'm not too bothered by it. You know what I mean? Not too bothered by it. This, this has to occur. And I'd rather it happen now. And I'll put some rehab tonic on it, if you will. Um, and get it recovered sooner and just sort of, what would you say? Rip the band-aid off, you'd say in the US. But we don't call them band-aids here, you know. We call them plasters or plaster. We don't call them band-aids. Very odd. Americans have loads of words that are uh, different to ours. It's really weird. Americans have more literal, like, wording for things. Like, we have pavements. You have sidewalks. Stuff like that. It's just, it's really weird. Right, how are we doing with this? Still got loads of moss. This must have been topped up. This is... There's actually an insane amount of moss to have in here. So at some point, maybe it has been put into a bigger pot, but just moss, like, lobbed around it a little bit, because it's... The perlite on here is... Uh, I'm starting to think that... I'm starting to think that Ben's put this in moss, because the perlite that was around the root, I thought there was going to be a lot more of it in the root ball. There isn't. There's only a little bit. So I think it's whoever we got it off had it in a bit of perlite, and then we've just gone, let's just moss it, which I don't necessarily recommend. Moss is good for some things, not others. And you're probably going to ask, well, what would you put in moss? What would you not? That's a whole video on itself. And the problem is it's not really one size fits all, guys, because I could suggest to you, oh, do moss. But if you keep your moss too wet, then moss is terrible. You know what I mean? If you underwater too much and your moss just dries out after two days or you're in a hot climate or something, moss is terrible. Like, it's not it's not just down to, like, the individual plant. It's also down to you as a waterer. And actually, I have a whole video on this. Um, and it's, like, why I don't make plant care videos. And I have made general care videos in the past, and it's not something I wouldn't do again. But my whole point in that video was there's a factor that, you know, anybody dropping a care video on YouTube is going to leave out, and that's you. Because it depends on what your habits are. Like, if you're an overwaterer, moss, generally, might not be a great thing for you. It might not be a great thing for you. Now, some plants can handle it. Cool. Some really can't. If it's a fucking colocasia or something, have at it. They live in water. Do you know what I mean? It really, really depends. And for monstera and stuff, I don't think they like being very wet, personally. And I said this, you know, I said this on a video a little while ago, and I think I pissed a few people off. Oh, no, it wasn't. Sorry, it wasn't about water. It was about light. I said monstera need less light. I should probably clarify what I meant. I don't... I don't really mean they need less light, but they, they are a low light plant. And I don't know if people actually know why Monstera develop things like holes and splits or fenestrations and stuff in the leaves. It happens when they get mature, yes. But that whole process is designed to allow light to come through the plant so it can maximize the light it gets. Now, you could argue, therefore, oh, we'll give it more light then. But generally speaking... That's how monstera like to be. They, they live up in trees, yes, but they're normally in like, you know, quite a dense forest or whatever. You know what I mean? And that is literally why they have holes in their leaves. They do it so that light can filter through. So that's kind of what I meant. It was poorly articulated. I will give you that, guys. I will. I will. I'm not very good at articulating myself. Um, I get into all kinds of trouble over that. <laughs> but generally speaking, you don't need as much light as you think you do for a monstera. The only time I think when monstera are in too low light is when you've got really long petioles. You're not getting splits anyway. Um, and it just looks... You can tell when a monstera hasn't had enough light because it just looks crap. The leaf to petiole ratio goes right down. Uh, right down? Right up. That's correct, isn't it? So you'd have way more petiole per leaf than what you want. You can just tell. You really can. But generally, monstera are low light plants, guys. I don't know what to say. You just got to look at where they actually grow in their natural habitat. Um, but it, it's a thing that monstera do. They do it to pass light down. Um, different plants do different things for different reasons. Like, I remember when I learned about stromanthi and calathea and stuff, so the stromanthi trio star that I have. Um, I remember learning about that years ago, and it is believed that the reason they have that variegation is to deter insects from eating the plant. And don't get me wrong that a lot of plants do that. But in terms of that, the more light you give it, sometimes the more variegation it gets, because the plant is, it's inherently, it knows it's more exposed. So it tries to variegate itself more to prevent more pests and stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, but yeah, there's, there's plants, it's not that black and white, guys. It's just not that black and white. Plus, you've got to be, like, what, what I deem to be low light might be completely different from what somebody else thinks is low light, okay? I would deem this in here, if you're, if a plant is not under the lights, I would deem it to be low light. Definitely. Definitely. Um, I would deem my the plants in my kitchen, which you haven't fully seen yet, to be quite high light. A lot of people might say, oh, it's medium or it's low light. You know what I mean? It, 
without getting a literal device out to measure it, which all four, you're not really going to know. So if I say something sometimes, it is a little bit subjective. You know what I mean? I'm, an, I'm not literally measuring this shit because once again, it was not a scientific statement, but I just thought I'd clear that up actually, because I personally deem Monstera to be low light plants. And if you're on about buying plants with tags on in garden centers, they all fucking say bright and direct light. Nearly all plants will f absolutely thrive in bright and direct. My point is not all of them need to. You know, not all of them need to. Like, Gloria Awesome will do better in low light. Great. Glorious. Anything glorious, glorious in it. A lot of Monstera will. Um, some philodendron do. Some philodendron really appreciate the light. For example, alocasia like a lot of light. And it's one of the reasons why I don't grow them in here. Um, another reason why I don't grow them in here is because they are bastards to ship. Let me tell you. I just got sick of it. I got sick of shipping out alocasias to people. And they'd get returned because... The comb, either the roots on the comb would rot in shipping or they'd just lose leaves and stuff. And I've sold like a variegated one. So obviously customers are unhappy when the leaf goes. Um, so I just, I gave up on them. It's not that I like them any less. I'd like one for the house at some point. Um, so I haven't lost love for those. It's just more logistically very difficult. But as I was saying, that is a plant that is very good for what I would argue is actually high light. Still indirect, so not sun, but higher light than any of the others. And it can also move quicker than any of the others to the light, which tells you it's quite receptive. Monstera can move quickly towards the light. Really seems to depend. Really seems to depend. Right. We've kind of got, guys, all of the moss off. What do we think? Because I think that's a nightmare. Oh, we have a little bit here, but it's it's kind of stuck. Hang on. Let's just very quickly see if I can get some of the moss out of this. And yeah, we've lost some root, but we we knew this. We knew this was going to happen. We did. We did. I'll just... Nah, it's, it's, it's kind of wedged in here. I'm just going to end up splitting roots here. That might just have to be a chunk. Right. I want to... What do I want to do? I want to get rid of this. And I want to wipe my hands a bit because, oh. ew. So what can I say here? This is going to be very difficult to show you. Please, please understand that. This is what we've got so far. We've got a big mass. It's not great. I know you're probably thinking, oh my God, great. It, it's not, it's not. Because I have to accommodate this. The best thing I can do right now is to make this first cut and get this big mass out of the way because clearly a lot of the mass anyway belongs to this bottom plant. I'm actually not going to cut where you'd think I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut here on the bottom. I'll explain why. I think there is another bud here, but I just wanted to keep these together just in case because there's a decent display of variegation. You can see how old these leaves are because they've got literally chunks out of them. If I just try and separate these, oh no, it's not going to separate, is it? it? means I have to pull it. it. means I have to pull it. So sorry, guys. Just look away. Look away. Right, there we go. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Gently pull that through. Right, okay. So that's for something else. Cool. So we've got this. This is going to be our base. I will give it a shake like that. Not ideal. Still got bits of moss on, but I think we'll be okay because it's going to go in my pond. So I think it'll be fine. And it, plus it's a little bit coarser, so it's going to be a little bit more airy. There might be some acclimation to that because again, this is just moss root, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm not too concerned about this chunky bit of moss here. I could pick it all out, but honestly, we don't have hours and I think it will be okay. And sometimes... If you leave a little bit of moss or whatever it is around the root and don't get overly picky with it, it can help it transition a little bit. So that's actually why I'm not very precious with this sort of shit, to be honest. That snapped, yeah. So there's a couple of dead roots that have gone, but this is actually not that bad at all. I will go through them properly off camera just to make sure they're okay because they'll need proper trim and a rinse and blah, 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 blah. Um, but generally, uh, that's one. So I've got the initial trunk here that we were clearly sold. Um, and I've left, there's definitely a bud here. So I'm leaving that as one plant, even though it, it could be cut into two. I don't know if you can see. Hopefully you can. Um, I'm going to leave that as he is. Variegation is all right. The bit that's been cut here, like that, was variegated. So were the other bits here. So that tells me there was good variegation. So I'm happy enough with that. The rest of it, however, I think this is quite clearly going to be its own cutting as well. So I'm just going to cut that, make sure I'm not near a bud. I'll show you each leaf as I'm going so we know kind of what the state it is. Right, that's another leaf. That's got fantastic variegation on it. Hope you can see. Try and lean forward. You see that? Beautiful variegation. That's what it looks like, by the way, green on green. Can you see now I'm able to actually show you a bit better? Whereas I couldn't before. Is that dead? Yeah, that is dead. I'm just going to cut that now, actually, because it's annoying me. So that's cutting number two. That probably can be coiled up and put into a pot just because this is very new and it's very bendy. The initial aerial might not be. So that's cutting number two. Cutting number three might get a bit tangled. Where is there a bud? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Can't see one, but we're going to cut it anyway. 
Oh my God, it's quite fat. There we go. Oh, it's juicy as well. So there's another one like that. Oh, yep. I see a bud. I see a bud. Yeah. So there's another one. Again, these will be rinsed off to high heaven. This one has okay variegation as well. I'm not, I'm not mad about that. Hopefully you can see that. That's what that looks like. That's okay. You can deal with that. Next one. I like to cut them, then look at them. Don't know why. Make sure I'm not going to cut through a bud at any point. No, I don't think I am. So let's just cut into this like so. Oh, gosh. This one, oh, this one's nice, guys. Look at this one there. Very, very pretty. It's going to be very, very nice. Honestly, I don't know what I thought of this plant at the beginning. Obviously, whatever I said on camera about it is what I thought, but I definitely like it more now than what I did. So, what does this one look like? You know what? When when you actually separate that, these out in the cuttings, they're, they're semi-viable if they can, see what I mean? If they can rotate like that. That's my only concern. But I will sort it, guys. Even if I had to pop them into a giant tray, right? And then just root them that way. I don't care. I'll do what I have to do. Right, next cutting. There's definite bud there. It's a big, fat, juicy bud, that one. That's really obvious. Bosh. Oh, that is fucking gorgeous. This is... I don't know if it's more my style or not. The, some of the other leaves you can tell are more variegated. This one, you've got to look closer, but I need to show you this. Hopefully you can see that. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. It's so pretty. So this, again, got loads of root on it. There is a nice bud. I can't really show you it, but basically it resides here. That's really, really nice. So what are we left with then? It's quite sad cutting this up. I've also waited to cut this, by the way. I wanted to do this a couple of weeks ago. I'm saying, oh, I put it off and I put it off. I have. But I wanted to do this a couple of weeks ago, but I didn't because this was coming out and hardening off after I'd taken my head cutting. So I wanted to leave it and make sure it was all right. Because if I cut it too soon, I knew I was going to lose the leaf. So, right, let's do... Where's the bud there? Oh, that's... Oh, that bud is... That, that bud is pregnant. It's going to come straight off. Let me just try and... Oh my gosh, it's so fat. I'm trying to cut it. There we go. Oh. Take that a second, because that's the head. Might leave that as it is, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe. So this is the next one. What's this one like? Less variegated, admittedly. You see this? Hopefully. Less variegated. Still nice root. Will it bend? That's going to bend really easy, actually. I'm less worried about that one. I think it's the older ones that are a bit more difficult. Oh, this is nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Right, let's just have a quick look at this one. Because if you're going to ask me about the variegation on the new one, it's done something I don't enjoy. And this is what's happened to the cutting in my house, right? So I took the head cutting of this. It, this is behaving exactly the same way. It probably means I should actually cut that. So I might cut that on this basis. But it's variegated so much, the leaf just looks kind of a lighter colour. So with green on green, I genuinely think you do need some some contrast, some differentiation. I'm not saying this is solid, because it's not. It's just so highly flecked that you're not going to be able to see it properly, okay? I'm going to do my best to hold it up, but if, if you can't see it, it's just the camera won't pick it up. Come on, focus. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the fact that it is different colours on this leaf. I promise it is. I absolutely promise you. But you can't see it. What you need is something like this. You see that? Come on, please focus. God, it's not even showing it that well in there, is it? What you need is to be able to see the contrast like you get here. Because if you don't and it goes all over, you just sort of get a lighter colour. We don't really want that. So I'm saying I wasn't going to cut it. <sighs> Maybe I should cut it, even though it's a little bit too young to cut. However, it, this is just going to continue. I don't think it's going to stop. So I'm going to brave it. I'm going to try and avoid that bud. I'm going to cut it, but this could die. It actually could die. Or maybe I don't. Maybe I just leave it for a bit. Oh. Right, I'm going to leave it. You know what? I'm going to leave it. I have one mother plant. I'm going to leave it. I know I've got now like loads of plants, but you never know, do you? And it's green on green. And I don't know what I would have to do to get another one of these. Not very easy to get. So I'm going to leave it like that. But that's what we've got today. We've got a multitude of these. Again, I think you can appreciate why I'm not going to pop these on camera. It's going to be a whole ass job. I'm going to immediately do it after I stop filming. Um, and see how it goes. I've got some stuff to test on these plants to see how quickly they shoot up. Can't say any more. Um, so I'm going to see how that goes. I've got another experiment running for something else as well, but this is, it's unofficially part of it, if you know what I mean. I'll monitor this and I'll make a judgment on it, but I'll just take this off so I can have a mini break before I start potting because I'm going to have to go find some pots. But that is it for this week's video, guys. Again, apologies that it's another repot. 
I am currently not here. I'm in Ireland, so I need to get something out to you before I go. I can't get this off. I can't get this off. There we go. Um, but thank you very much for being patient. The launch video, as of the time this comes out, could even be next week. It could even be next week. I can't guarantee it, but it could actually be next week that it comes out. It's ha You know what? It might be highly likely it is. So anyway, stay tuned for that. Merch is down below. The products that used to be here and all the prettiest that used to be here is available either through my website or Amazon. Number three and four, currently as of recording this anyway, are not available through Amazon. Feel free to have a look anyway. And I guess that's it for this video. Wish me luck with these because I, I really like this plant, guys. And it's large form, so... What more can you want? Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. I will love you and leave you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.